Hello friends, so in today's video we are going to learn how to study an art style. In this case, I want you to pick one of your favorite artists that you would like to study from. It has to be one of those artists that make you say like, Dan, I want to draw like him. So in my case, I'm going to be studying from Clayman as an example. He has been one of my favorite artists from quite a while. I think I started following his work since his work in Heroes in Crisis. And the moment I, the first time I watched his work, I was really amazed by how he draws his figures so accurately, like the proportions were re really amazing, the, and the anatomy was really amazing, the way he renders was also really good, and also the way he tells the stories was like really cinematic to me, which is, is something that I really love, and I think it's from him that I started studying and investigating more into the cinematic world and how composition works and how to, how to film and how light works, so yeah. He's one of my biggest inspirations from quite a while. Now, before starting to draw and analyze how the artist draws, I really recommend to search on the internet if possible if there are videos or posts of how the artist draws, just to see how he approaches his drawings and how he builds everything. In my case, I couldn't find much. I didn't find videos mostly, but I did find some some posts of his work in progress on some covers on, or maybe some panels, and this kind of helps a little bit. Okay, so I think for this study I'm going to choose one of the covers from Clayman. Let's see if we can uh, figure out how he draws his figures. I'm going to start the same way as the sketches, mostly from the silhouette, just to figure out the the entire proportions of the of the figure. So I'm not sure if this is exactly how Clayman works, but from what I was looking and I could interpret from his sketch stage, I think he does some really loose under sketch, but mostly like a silhouette. It looks like he doesn't construct much the figures with boxes or cylinders and he draws most of it straight ahead. So that's what I'm going to try to do. I think this way is better to avoid drawing lines over and over and have a much confident vision of the figure in your head. It forces you to kind of visualize first the figure in your head. The only downside of this is actually that same thing. Uh, you need to have a clear image in your head to be able to draw the figure straight ahead or you could just have a reference at your hand. That's actually why I like to switch between ways of drawing figures. Sometimes I will be drawing the silhouette, other times I will be doing more scribbles to find the right lines or draw the figure with an actual structure using boxes, cylinders and spheres. It really, it actually really depends on the pose that I'm drawing. If you're drawing characters where they have suits, like here that I'm drawing Batman, try drawing what is underneath and try to understand the forms of what is behind. For this, actually you should have some little knowledge on anatomy and proportions. If you're a complete beginner, I really recommend to learn some basic stuff to get better at copying and studying your artist. That way you will understand even more why they do what they do. When you're doing your studies, try to compare the scale and proportions of what you're drawing. For example, where does the hand end in comparison to other parts of the body, or how large is the head in comparison to the chest, and so on. Try to compare a lot to see what things you can improve in your study. By doing this, you will interiorize what you're learning because you're actually learning from your mistakes. And this way is much easier because you actually have the final piece in your hand and you will see what things you need to improve. Maybe it's anatomy, maybe it's perspective, maybe it's proportions, and so on. The goal is to be just close enough to understand the way how the artist draws and simplify the forms. But keep in mind, this is just study, so don't worry if it isn't perfect, there is always a next time. Besides, the more studies you actually do, the better for your observation skills, and you will end up interiorizing more stuffs from the artist that you're studying.
honestly, there isn't much to explain about how to study an art style. When it comes to studying other people's art style, it really comes down to a lot of observation skills. So basically what you kinda have to do is just draw as many artworks as possible at the beginning just to improve your observation skills. Comparing your study to the final work of the artist is a really good way of doing this. You will start noticing a lot how your observations about anatomy perspective rendering details starts to improve slowly. A little fun fact about doing these kind of studies is that since this helps to improve your observation skills and how to simplify certain forms, when you end up studying anatomy from books or real life or photos, it will be much easier to identify what things you are missing to improve or even what ways of simplifying forms you like the most. That's when you will be actively choosing what defines your style. I think I said this before on a previous video, but I will say it again anyway. A style is just but a mere reflection of what you like and also your flaws. What I mean by this is that absolutely everything that you're studying and memorizing will be later part of you. So just have a lot of fun drawing and studying your favorite artists because it will really help you to find actually who you are. And don't get too overwhelmed if you can't really define your style right now because it takes time and honestly, style sometimes can be in constant change. So don't worry about it too much because it will come to you by itself. So just have fun and draw what you like. Okay, so this is the final result. This is how it looks. Uh, I know I have many many things that I missed, like the proportions here in the waist, or maybe the, the trapezius, the muscles here, it, it should be a little bit higher maybe. The waist, I believe it should be lower. Uh, I did not construct things well, but again, it, you don't need to make it perfect to understand how someone renders or uh, does his anatomy, because you will end up fixing your anatomy later on as you study. I think that's it for today's video, I really hope you learned a few a few new things about studying an art style. I don't know, let me know in the comments if uh, you found something new, you learned something new. That's it for today's video and I hope to see you on my next video. Bye! Hello friends, so... Hello friends, so in... Hello friends, so in today's video we are going to learn how to... Ay, porque es muy difícil!